A very personal day in the courtroom as those who previously identified as transgender explained their process of detransitioning. Testimony pressed on today in the lawsuit that challenges a state decision to ban care for transgender youth. Jessica Rank joins us live from the federal courthouse. So, Jessica, what more happened today? Yeah, Donna and Kevin, as you guys mentioned, two people were called to the stand testifying about their experience and how they came to identify as transgender and what they say was the regret that followed those decisions. Now, testimony from both witnesses today came with a lot of questions from the plaintiff's attorneys about why the change of heart. First to the stand was 40-year-old Laura Beth Smaltz. Smaltz identified as a male from age 25 to 33, taking testosterone and ultimately undergoing top surgery and a hysterectomy. Smaltz said the surgery helped me initially out of that pain. But as time pressed on, she questioned the outcomes of the procedures, saying, quote, it wasn't really solving anything, and, quote, I had put all my eggs into one basket and I began to realize it was all fake. It was so devastating. Smaltz detransitioned in 2016 and married her husband this past year. In her testimony, she explained the regret she felt getting the hysterectomy and its impact on her now having children, saying, quote, the fact that I did this to myself is a grief I can't get over. Clifton Billy Burley told a similar story, testifying that he had identified as a woman from the time he was 27 to about 39. Burley testified that he went through at least seven gender affirming procedures, saying he believed he would, quote, find my happiness and my peace. He described the physical pain he underwent after surgeries and some of the side effects that came with it. Eventually regretting the entire thing, he says, quote, looking in the mirror, I was like, Billy, what are you doing? Clifton Billy Burley detransitioned in 2009. Now, there were a lot of questions from the plaintiff's attorneys during cross-examination about the witness's relationship to faith and religion, alluding to the fact that that may have played a role in the decision to detransition. A testimony picks up tomorrow at 9 a.m. right here at the federal courthouse. I have written a full breakdown of what happened inside the courtroom today. You can find that on our website, fox16.com. Live in downtown Little Rock, I'm Jess Crank. Back to you.